Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about disabling Windows Defender on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. And you want to go ahead and search for Group Policy. Best result, you come back with Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and open that up. If you're running Windows 11 Professional or higher, if you're running the Home Edition, I'll show you guys a registry modification we can do if this doesn't work for you, if you're not able to get into the Group Policy Editor. So you want to go start by expanding Computer Configuration, and underneath Administrative Templates, double-click on it. should be a Windows Components folder. Double-click on that one as well. And then there should be something that says Microsoft Defender Antivirus. So go ahead and double-click on that. And at this point, you want to go locate the Turn Off Microsoft Defender Antivirus on the right side. And you want to set that to Enabled to turn off the antivirus. And then you select OK. If you want to enable it, you can double-click on it and select Disabled or Not Configured. So pretty straightforward on that front. So if you're running Windows 11 Home, you can try opening up the Start menu. Type in RegEdit. Best result, you should come back to Registry Editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create the backup, all you have to do is select File and then Export. File name and recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you would do is select File and then Import and navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing for the Software folder. Now you want to locate Policies and you want to double click on that. Should be a Microsoft folder in here. Double click on that. And then finally there should be a Windows Defender folder. Just left click on that one time. Now on the right side, you'd want to right-click in a blank area, select New, then select DWIRT 32-bit value. You would name it Disable anti spyware as you see on my screen. Because we did the Group Policy Editor method, it automatically put this DWIRT value into our registry. So this is what it's doing on the back end, basically, the Group Policy Editor method. So again, Disable anti spyware is what you want to name this DWIRT 32-bit value name. That's what you want to call it. Exactly as seen on my screen. Double-click on it and you set the value data to 1 and this would disable Windows Defender and by setting it to 0 or just deleting this key would re-enable it. So again, pretty straightforward process guys. If you did the registry editor method, you would need to go ahead and restart your computer. Okay, so pretty straightforward process, guys. Hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.